Okay, so today what I want to talk about is an update. Uh, the reason why is because every once in a while in my pursuit of finding things that help out, just supplement. And what I mean by supplement is balance things out that need to be balanced temporarily. Um, I don't see supplements as a lifetime thing. Um, in the beginning, I thought, oh, I could just do this, but it's just not sustainable. I mean, in the end, you want to come back, in my opinion, to the original just food. Just food is what you can make of it, balancing your diet, not eating and overeating. Anyways, so my update will be on three subjects. One is DMAE, dimethyl amine ethanol, amine ethanol or amino ethanol. Uh, I think before I sailed to that, it kind of made me a little bit wired. It also helped reduce pain. I'm not sure, it could be a cortisol response, but it definitely gets me up and going. Also, um, it does give me some motivation, kind of a little bit. You know, one of the uh, mechanisms is that it increases choline. And I really feel that choline gives people a little bit more drive to do things and want to do things. Um, although on the negative side, I feel like it's... I don't want to say it scatterbrains me but it's not a good focus. Drive is there, but the focus is not as good. Um, also, I do think it's a kind of a pain reducer still. Um, however, it's really hard to get to sleep at night. And I'm just taking half of the recommended dosage. I think it was 100 milligrams or something. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, the next one would be, I said a while back, I was talking about magnesium orotate. I said that it gave me gas. It doesn't. I had mixed that up. There's a confounding factor. I was taking fish oil. Fish oil gives me gas. And so I really think the fish oil, that'll be the third one, the update that I want to bring up. Uh, the magnesium orotate works really well. Uh, it does not upset my GI at all. Um, I feel like really strong and energetic, not hyper, but like I can do more and lift more. I don't feel fatigued. So orotate is supposed to, magnesium orotate is supposed to help supply ATP more quickly, better, efficiently. And so it does, at least for me. Uh, the dose was kind of big though. I took this dose and, and it was huge compared to three and eight. The three and eight dose was like 44% of your daily value. So you didn't really worry about overtaking. But the um, magnesium orotate, the ma the, what they gave me was like, um, it was way too high. It was like, a, it's like 100% of your daily recommendation. But you know, if you do anything, you're not supposed to uh, take a supplement for too long because it'll imbalance other ones. So magnesium takes away from calcium and phosphorus and vice versa. So. <laughs> and kind of ironically, I'm supplementing with calcium and magnesium at the same time, and then I'm, you know, adding a lot of like meat for my phosphorus. But um, yeah, you'll get an imbalance over time, so uh, you can't do it all the time. Again, so the idea of supplement is for a temporary thing. So to end this video, this update, um, three things. Number one, DMA, uh, those kind of details that I added on to that. Um, not being able to sleep very well. It takes away sleep. It gives me motivation during the day, but it takes away from my sleep at night. So it's kind of like, there's no answer, there's just trade-offs. I think Thomas Sowell said that. He's an economist, very clever man. And magnesium orotate does not give me gas. It does give me energy. Uh, the dose I take is too high. I just take it sometimes. And fish oil, it really gives me gas, at least the one that I was taking. And that was um, piping rock, but... Um, be careful of um, fish oil supplements. They may not be fresh. So I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and I'll see you guys next week.